<laughs> Better made. Came up with them thoroughbred swap world that was Detroit City. Moved out to the Gold State, California. I ain't come from love with me. Focus like Adderall. When I had a ball, I shattered boys. Shack fool in the 9 2 with vocab boy like Scattergore. One kid, but I'm sunny. What up, everybody? I'm Mark. This is Inwell Closet Collection. Thanks for getting my channel up. If you want videos on refreshings and best kicks, merch, etc., be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Shout out to Little Master for that reminder. Today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing, plus an on feet look of the new Adidas Easy QNTM or Quantum in a lifestyle variant. These shoes dropped on December 23rd for the price of 250 bucks. These dropped a day later after the basketball version dropped for 250 bucks. Both the shoes are virtually the same. One is made for lifestyle with less performance and the basketball is made for playing basketball <laughs> and more performance and more lockdown. So typically the size on Quantums, they're typically true to size. I have the variums in half size up and they're a little bit too big. I have the normal, the lifestyle, the OGs in true to size and they fit perfectly. And then I got the teal blues in true to size and those are too tight. <laughs> I know like the prime knit pattern change on some of these, but I don't understand what they're doing with the sizing. They might be experimenting because it's still like a newer shoe, but please, for the love of God, leave it alone. It'd be cool to have them like the 700s and just keep them true to size. That way I know when I buy them true to size, they're gonna feel and fit true to size. And so box these bad boys. So I got these from Foot Shop, which is like an EU site. And these actually came first before any pair that I got. I got a few pairs of these. These came first, so I'm glad to have them. Grab my shank, turn the safety off. Cause remember, safety first. Remember when cutting open a box to always cut away. Always cut away. Cause trust me, you don't wanna get shanked. Discard that. Let's get him out the box. Discard that. All right, you got your standard QNTM box. You got boost on the side. And the size tag says YZY QNTM. That's the Easy Quantum, size 13 US. And the color is fro blue, fro blue, fro blue. <laughs> Let's check them out. Yeah, that blue hit a little bit different. And there you have it. The new Adidas Easy QNTM Frozen Blue in the Lifestyle Variant. Let me know your initial thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, so my initial thoughts on this shoe. Um, I like it. It might be top three for the QNTMs. Let's hop into a review. Starting the lateral side at the bottom, you have this classic Adidas Easy QNTM midsole, outsole, and heel cut pattern. <laughs> it's like a semi-translucent, like white or cream. Then the outsole, you can see spilling up a little bit, and that's a semi-translucent, like light gum. Then moving up, that's where you get to the most interesting, unique part of the shoe. You have this uh, TPU cage that's on top, and this time it's glowing in the dark. <laughs> We're gonna put that to the test real soon. Underneath, you have that frozen blue color, and it's also matched with like a olive green. And then you have like a clear mesh that's like in between all the TPU cage patterns. And I do want to double check for reflective underneath. I know the OGs had a reflective strip, with like a squiggle line going through it. I want to check for reflective on these. Let's do that now. Okay, so it doesn't appear to have any reflective details underneath the mesh. Rolling on to the front of the shoe, you have this uh, outsole spilling up in a little bit. Then it goes into this classic, you know, Yeezy 700 thing. <laughs> but I guess it's classic for the QNTMs now. And it's in this nice light color, like light brown suede. It's nice and soft, like the OG suede. And we'll compare that very soon. Moving up past that, you get this tongue, this neoprene tongue starting way down at the bottom, and it goes way up to the top. It's all black. And on top of that, you have these black rope laces going through the lace loops. And then at the top of the shoe, you have this tape going around the opening. And, and on the inside, by the ankle here, it's extra lace loop there for lockdown. Underneath the lace loop is some suede there. And the tip of these laces is like dipped in this very nice like plastic or wax. These are some very nice laces. Going to the inside of the shoe, there's some padding down like by the Achilles area. And it's actually pretty soft and plush. Then on the inside of the shoe, you have an all black insole with a Adidas Easy branding and gray. 
roll on to the medial side of the shoe, or the arch size I like to call it. It's pretty much a mirror image of the lateral side. I don't see any differences that stand out. This is the same shoe, both lateral and arch side. Roll on to the heel of the shoe. That's where you have this big heel cup right here, <laughs> and it's reflective. Uh, it comes in a regular gray, like in silver at the bottom. Uh, this is standard for the QNTMs, and I guess it's more for like uh, stability. You know, if you're trying to juke somebody, cross them over. <laughs> Do you even juke in basketball? <laughs> anyway, moving up past that, you have like this nylon material in black, and you got this tape going over all the stitching, and it's pretty nice. Roll on to the bottom of the shoe. You have this classic Adidas Easy QNTM outsole. It's in that same like gum, light gum, as all the rest of the shoes, and it has full and boost, and you can see the boost popping out with the boost branding right here. So you already know, in World Closet Collection, we do a side-by-side -side comparison. I think I'm gonna compare them to all of the QNTMs. I also wanna compare them to the Selena V3 Azrith. Speed bar standard blues are very close to being the same. I'm curious, so let's check it out. All right, we got them all here. We got the OG Quantum, we got the Barium Quantum, and we got the Teal Blue Quantum. Let's do them in order release. All right, so compared to the OG, the only thing that's kind of similar is that suede toe patch, but the toe patch on the OGs is a little bit darker. It's a little bit more of a sand color, and these are a little bit lighter. Besides that, there's like no similarities between the two. Um, if I had to pick one to rock, give me the OGs. All right, next you have the bariums. So compared to the bariums, the only thing that's you could say is similar is that TPU cage is on top. And I was really wondering like if these glow and nobody knew about it, nobody talked about it. But I guess right now we can do a quick check. Let's look. Nope. <laughs> the bariums do not glow. Darn. <laughs> But besides that, uh, there's no comparisons, nothing the same. Um, I mean, maybe the mid so also might be the same, but no real comparison. If I had to pick one to wear, give me the frozen blue. All right, next you get the teal blues. Uh, there's nothing similar to either one of these. I think even the outsole is different on teal blues. I mean, you got the heel cup and the standard you know, tooling on the back side of the shoe, but this came like with a prime knit pattern. And I actually like these a lot. You know, because they went a little bit darker on the midsole, darker on the toe patch. But hand to hand, side by side, if I had to pick one to wear, give me the frozen blues. Now let's compare them to the Adidas Yeezy 700 V3 Azerith. All right, so uh, bet you by golly wild. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think it's the same blue. It even has the same olive color because it's olive inside the shoe. I like it. I guess uh, uh, one of the homies on YouTube, uh, John Alexander, <laughs> he did say this is the high top version of these. And I will venture to say he's right. I think uh, these are my most worn 700 V3s. I like these bad boys a lot. I got a lot of nice merch to wear with it. Like, you know, my uh, thank you world gear. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they are very, very similar. Even the color of the toe patch, even though it's rubber on the 700 V3s, it's very close. I'm actually surprised. If I had to pick one to wear every day, oh yeah, you know I'm going with the 700. 700 is my joints. Then of course the cage on the 700s glow, the cage on the Frozen Blues glow. So I'm guessing the inspiration for the Frozen Blues came from the Azerith. So did you pick up either pair? The Frozen Blues and the Quantum or the Azerith? Let me know in the comment section down below. So all in all, this is an amazing shoe. I like it a lot. It's probably, I know probably it is, number two on my list for Quantums. Number one the OGs. Number two, the Frozen Blues. Number three, the Teal Blues. Number four, the Bariums. What's your order? Uh, reselling these bad boys, uh, virtually not existing right now. People aren't filling the Q and teams just yet. While well, things are gonna happen with most of the Yeezys, after they sit for a while, after about a year or two go past, and they like do some re-releases, or start seeing more people rock them, then the price will go up. And like right now, people are dumping their prices, so they're going real low dumping them to get them out of their inventory. And to me, this is a hold. If you bought them for resale, hold them. But with my Yeezys, I buy all for personal. If I get some extra, I'll resell them. But these right here will be a hold for sure. Because in most sizes, in most cases, especially for the lifestyle, they're under retail. Now the basketball version, on the other hand, people really wanted those for whatever reason. They're actually holding the price at retail, or they're actually in some cases going over retail. So if you got both pairs, and you want to keep on a rock and keep on a sale, rock the lifestyles, sell the basketballs. So once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning into my channel for giving you all the feedback. You know, the channel is steadily growing. Please let me know what I can do to appeal better to you guys and help me get more subscribers. But tell your friends, tell your family. As my little son say, don't be a stupid dumb hater. Like and subscribe. Holla.
I ain't trying to be aggressive, but I wanted on the humble. She shine like VVS's and her tongue can do a funnel. She a bad little five plus five girl. I want you, ain't no sliding, no DM, but when I can slide up on you, I'm just talking out the net. Mouth closed, full of liquor. The rendezvous we celebrate big for going bigger. Some thought I lost, some recognize the cost that I paid to be, of course, nothing less than the boss. Hot boxing for the. F let them smell the turps and cologne I got no handouts, giving work off my loans I wish it would tell me put out my strong I'm a California taxpayer, that's on my own Yeah, Learn to hit them flip, flip, flips Get it in like gymnastics and flip, flip, flip Quiet, but a sharpshooter, flip, flip, flip If the plan don't land, I load up another clip I can't miss Plan A had to work, no plan B Slice pies with my guys, they the family I be cooking for a minute, Gordon Ramsay